Chen style Tai Chi was developed in Chen Go village in Wenshan County, Henan province. Chen Wang Tin, the ninth generation master of the Chens, created the set routines of Tai Chi containing five routines of Tai Chi, one routine of Pao Chi, one routine of 108 styles Chang Quan, two people push hands, two people Nyan Chang, and Tai Chi apparatus such as broadsword, spear, sword, club. In the age of Chen Changxin, the 14th generation inheritor of Chen's, he refined and summarized the Tai Chi and improved it to be Chen style Tai Chi routine one, a new Tai Chi routine two. Then Chen Shangqin initiated his son Chen Geng Yun and his apprentice Yang Lu Chan. So Tai Chi evolved into five styles, including Chen, Yang, Wu, Wu, and Sun styles. This program is interpreted and demonstrated by Chen Zheng Li, the 19th generation inheritor of Chen style Tai Chi Quan. It's over 20 years since Master Chen Zheng Li learned Tai Chi from his uncles Chen Zhao Pei and Chen Zhao Ku in his childhood, fully mastering the arcana of Chen style Tai Chi and with practice skill. He also writes books of Tai Chi Quan and advanced studies in Tai Chi theory. He was listed in the Chinese Personality Yearbook and was honored as National Martial Arts High Grade Instructor, International Tai Chi Quan Master, and one of the ten present Chinese Martial Arts Masters.
Chen style Tai Chi was developed in Chen Zhaogou village in Wenshan County, Henan Province. Chen Wang Tin, the ninth generation master of the Chens, created the set routines of Tai Chi containing five routines of Tai Chi, one routine of Pao Chi, one routine of 108 styles Chang Quan, two people push hands, two people Nyan Chang and Taiji apparatus such as broadsword, spear, sword, club. In the age of Chen Changxin, the 14th generation inheritor of Chen's, he refined and summarized the Tai Chi and improved it to be Chen style Tai Chi routine one, a new Tai Chi routine two. Then Chen Shangqin initiated his son, Chen Geng Yun, and his apprentice, Yang Lu Chan, so Tai Chi evolved into five styles, including Chen, Yang, Wu, Wu, and Sun styles. This program is interpreted and demonstrated by Chen Zheng Li, the 19th generation inheritor of Chen style Tai Chi Quan. It's over 20 years since Master Chen Zheng Li learned Tai Chi from his uncles Chen Zhao Pei and Chen Zhao Ku in his childhood fully mastering the arcana of Chen style Tai Chi and with practice skill. He also writes books of Tai Chi Quan and advanced studies in Tai Chi theory. 
He was listed in the Chinese Personality Yearbook and was honored as National Martial Arts High Grade Instructor, International Tai Chi Quan Master, and one of the ten present Chinese Martial Arts Masters. Now I will introduce Chen-style internal health-preserving Qigong. The whole set routine can be separated into four parts. Part 1. Exercising the joints. Methods on exercising all the major joints of the body. Part 2. Methods on basic movements and reeling silk. Part 3 is Silent Health Qigong. Among them, we include picking qi, grasping qi, using qi, and tai ji hunyan posture. The last part is the essential 18 movements of Chen style tai ji kuan. It is a small set routine with 18 movements taken from routine 1. This routine is easy to learn and easy to grasp. After practice, the learner should have some knowledge of Chen style Tai Chi Quan, its basic theories, and also understand what the reeling silk gong is about. Well, next I will introduce the contents of the first part, joint exercises. Part 1, relaxing the joints. Relaxing the joints begins from wrists, buckle hands, relax the body. Swing body naturally. Rotate the wrists. It also requires bending the knees, relaxing the hips, relaxing the shoulders and sinking on elbows, standing up and keeping straight. While the wrists are exercising, the body shakes along naturally with it. That is relaxing the body. Next is exercising the elbow joints. Elbows are always bending and extending. As the body rotates, stretch out by moving the elbows across and moving the hands together. After exercising elbows, exercise the shoulders, shoulder joints. After exercising the elbows, exercise the shoulders, shoulder joints. Put hands relaxedly on shoulder, then backwards first. Use shoulder as axis. Put elbows on both sides of the body. 
draw an arc and turn around. Turn from front to back after that. Extend the chest after the shoulders are done. First, open and stretch the chest. Lead with the elbow. Secondly, close hands, face upwards, open outward. Always pat twice when told. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rotate waist after extending the chest. Turn right, wave arms. Place hands up, left first, slowly, then add force. Add force again on the second time, then switch back and turn right. Shoot and shake for one more time. Turn back more on the second time. These are also two eight times. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After that, relax and swing the arms. The requirement is to turn to your right. Look at left heel from the back. Turn, turn left and look at right heel. Relax and rotate. The body is then rotating from neck to the ankle. When relaxing, this hand pushes the energy to the other hand. Hands do flap gong lightly, from down to up, relax, hit backwards from shoulder, try your best to relax after wheel opening. More or less movements are both okay. Bigger or smaller movements are both okay. Time yourself accordingly. Next exercise, koksa. Axing koksa means akimbo. Thumb is put in front and fingers on the back. The four fingers of each hand put on either side of the back. 
First left, rotate eight times. Then right, rotate eight times again. During rotating, not only the hips are moving, but also the muscles of the legs. Squirm left and right, up and down while rotating. After exercising coxa, stretch the hips. It can be done by bow step. Press hip akimbo. Try your best to push down. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then change leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, finish. Exercise the knee joint. Knee joint moves inward first, then turn fourth. Then turn fourth. Then combine the steps. First turn to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then turn right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After turning the knee joint, turn the ankles. Touch the ground with your tiptoes. Use hip and tiptoe as the axis. Turn ankle by swinging the knee joint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn to the left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The joint exercises of the whole body is done. After that, relax the body. Relax the body by kicking, waving hands. How are they done? First step to the right, then change to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, four, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exercises and relaxing of joints are now done. Next, I will introduce the methods of reeling silk. Part two. Reeling silk. There are so many ways of practicing Chen style Tai Chi Quan. Clockwise reeling, anti clockwise reeling, big reeling, small reeling, inner reeling, outer reeling, forward reeling, backward reeling, left reeling, right reeling, up reeling, down reeling, and so on. 
From every angle in the routine, every action, every direction, they can express a form of reeling. I will introduce two of them briefly. Clockwise reeling and anti-clockwise reeling are the uppermost expression. Clockwise reeling and anti-clockwise reeling. Anti-clockwise reeling, the hand movements, many, closing inward is called anti-clockwise chan, and outward is called clockwise chan. Sometimes there is left clockwise reeling and right anti-clockwise reeling. For this, during pushing, these are called left clockwise reeling and right anti-clockwise reeling. It is turning into left anti-clockwise chan and right clockwise chan during warding off. Such is the clockwise chan expressed on the hand on the leg, expressions of clockwise and anti-clockwise reeling are such as placing the toe outside, which is clockwise chan, closing inward, that is called anti-clockwise chan. It is the same on the left or right leg. Turn outward, placing outward is called clockwise chan, Closing inward is called anti-clockwise chan. Turn left and right with the body. Waist turns to the left, then turn to the right. The other ways of reeling are expressed through each movement in different situations. I will go into details later. Now I'm introducing some basic practicing movements of reeling silk. The first is forward reeling with single hand. Draw an arc downward, sink. This is clockwise reeling. Then, moving with the center of the body, turn the body upward, turn outward, and open and stretch to right. These movements are called anti-clockwise reeling. Clockwise reeling and anti-clockwise reeling become an ellipse according to the movement of the body. Change between solid and empty and turn left and right. Practice more times. Two rhythms in practicing and learning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twice is okay. Next, forward reeling with left hand. The requirement is the same as the right hand. Next, I will introduce forward reeling with two hands. It is the same as cloud hands routine. Next, side reeling. Put right hand on right side of the body. Draw an arc and turn around, 
sink hands. Sink shift center to left. When shifting center to right, the right hand turns upwards and wards to outside, like this. The right hand draws an arc to the right side of the body and turns around. Next, side reeling with left hand. The requirement is the same for the right hand. Next, left, right, backward push, turn, palm, and reel. As the same as pushing backwards in Replies Monkey, move with center, turn to left and right, turn, palm, and reel when pushing backward. Next, step to reel forward and backwards with hands. Change between left and right steps to practice. That is all for reeling silk. Next, we explain the ways of keeping healthy. Part 3, Silent Health Preserving Qigong. First, picking qi. While doing it, open both legs, bend the knees and relax the hips. Keep the body straight. The head should be held naturally. Look forward, teeth and lips close lightly, the tip of the tongue touches the roof of the mouth, breathe naturally with the nose, 
Keep the body straight. Bend knees and relax the hips. Relax all parts of the body. If the environment is noisy, close the eyes slightly. Take care of Dantian. Then turn both hands outwards. Rise slowly. Inhale while raising hands close above the head. Then sink down relaxedly. Exhale while sinking as long as down to Dantian. Rest for a while, then continue to sink with both legs. Exhale until both legs, then turn both hands upwards, inhale while raising up. The basic principle is to inhale while raising and to exhale while sinking. The breath count should be coordinated with movements. If the breath is not long and fine, but short from the beginning, the movements should then be faster. After practicing for a while, breathing will be adjusted naturally. Gradually going to a deep, long breath. Inhale while raising. Exhale while sinking. In the beginning, a normal person breathes 12 times in one minute. Seven to eight times in a minute through practicing Qigong. Then down to four or five times. Even four, three or four times at the longest. By doing that, you can reach the level of deep, long breath. Now we have finished the first type of silent, health-preserving qigong. The way of picking qi. By this way, this is digesting the negative and positive qi of nature through the body, making the sky and ground in harmony. It is very comfortable to practice like this. Through inhaling and exhaling, not only breathe by the nose, but also to make the qi run through you. Lao Gong point, Yong Quan point, Bai Hu point. Even the most inspiration time, the pores, the blood vessels, and capillary vessels are breathing by opening and closing. You have reached the quiet with this inspiration running through the qi, moving inside and outside together. Since people and nature are in harmony, you can feel all of these. Next, we will introduce another way, which is grasping qi. 
This way of grasping qi is cooperating with changing the center of gravity. Put left or right leg in front, both are, are okay. Aim at a goal when you're grasping. That means also you have to concentrate your impression at one place. Facing the mountain, the tree, the sun, or a very strong man. The main idea is concentrating attention. Grasp their oxygen and put it into Dantian. Then breathe out turbid qi. In this way, one is to practice the movement between emptiness and fullness. The second is to practice together with body. The first, also the main, is to practice impression and breath. Now I am practicing these movements. Step forward. First, when hands drawing in, inhaling qi, sinking, drawing in dentian. Move center of gravity backward, then move forward again. Hands turn to palm, palmward upward. Turn to exhale, then inhale, fisting, move center of gravity backwards, turn to palm again, move center of gravity forward, exhale. Practice this again and again. Like this. Change to the other leg. Practice these according to your health condition. You can put your body a little high, a little less movement is all right. If your health is good, lower is all right. More movements are good too. The level of practicing is under your control. Grasping chi is over here. Next, the third. Transfer Qigong in Dantian. Open your legs at the beginning. Put the left hand on your belly button. Make the right hand cover your left hand. If you are female, Put the right hand under the left hand. When practicing, relax all parts of the body. Bend knees, relax hips. Turn right, the hands rise while turning right. 
Then turn left. Put the hands down. While turning, move the body through concentration. Then move the hands through the body from small to big according to breathing. Turn around 36 times. If you're female, put the right hand under the left, turn to left first, then to right. It is opposite with males 36 times. Now I am turning. The big circle is from breast to lower abdomen. Big circle is from breast to lower abdomen. Do this 36 times. Then change the two hands and do it in the opposite direction. From big to small, 24 times more. Finish these, put hand on the belly button, adjust the breathing, inhaling, try your best to push hand forward, and when exhaling, push hands backward again. Dantian and Mingmen points are in touch with each other after a while. There is an aeriform cylinder, inhaling and exhaling. Getting through it, you will have this feeling. After doing that, rub both hands together until they heat. After doing that, rub your hands together until they warm up. And then rub the face. Rub the ears. Covering the ears with your hands, drum on the back of your head with your fingers. Then 
and relax. Do some relaxation movements, as I said before. The third part of the way of using qi is over here. Next is passive courses. There are three ways of passive courses. One is hunkering freely, just sitting on the ground. The second is sitting on a stool or sofa or bed. All of these are all right for practice. The third is Tai Chi Hunyan posture. The third way almost has no movements visible. The main thing is leading qi with attention. The moving body with qi run through big and small ju tian. This way of practicing, I will introduce hunkering freely first. Never mind whether it's the ground, a mat, or a stool, you can sit on it. As sitting freely, you shouldn't move your foot up, just sit freely. Only feel natural and comfortable, forearms on the knees and the palms of the hands upwards. The right hand is above the left hand. Keep the body straight while you're sitting. Relax all parts of the body. Concentrate your attention. Close the lips and teeth slightly. The tip of the tongue touches the roof of the mouth. Breathe through your nose. Look straight ahead. Close your eyes slightly. Pay attention to Dantian. The main thing is listening to your breath and leading qi through attention. Do your best to get through small ju tian, then the big ju tian. Before doing all of these, breathe naturally. This is breathing in sequence in physiology. Only you can come down to think. Don't care where the qi is. Converge thought at the beginning. Concentrate attention. Breathe naturally. Sit quietly like this. Nervousness and vexation are drained away after a while. Qi will be circled in your body with in attention and breath. The time of sitting is up to you, at least 20 to 30 minutes. If you are free, longer is better. Make arrangements according to the time you have. Practice in any situation, even when sitting on the flat, standing, or hunkering. Practice according to the conditions. Settle down first, control your own time. Sitting on the flat is coming. Sitting on the flat to preserve health. 
Sitting on the flat means sitting on a stool or bed. Practice wherever you sit and whatever conditions you have. The requirement is the same as hunkering. Concentrate attention, calm down thoughts, give up all thoughts. Eyes closed slightly, take care of Dantian. Close lips and teeth slightly, breathe naturally at the beginning. Breath reaches the level of deep, long, thin, and even, gradually. Keep your body straight, the legs hang naturally, put your hands on your knees naturally, the palms of the hands upward or downward, just naturally. The most important thing is concentrating attention, calming down and breathing naturally. This is according to your time. Arrange it yourself. But sit for at least 20 minutes. Then you can feel like the state of quiet natural breath according to that feeling. Next is the third Taiji Hunyan posture. The requirements of attention and relaxing to the quietness are the same as sitting on the flat and hunkering. There are no differences except movements. The requirement is opening feet, bending knees, and relaxing hips. Relaxing the body, keeping the body straight, arms surround in front of chest, fingertip to fingertip. They are apart about 10 centimeters. The palms of the hands are facing inside, thumbs open slightly. Relax shoulders and sink elbows. Close eyes slightly. Is all right. Take care of Dantian. Breathe naturally. Stand here for at least 10 minutes. You can feel that if you are free, you can stand longer and better. But increase the time gradually. You cannot stand for a long time right off. Then the side Taiji Hunyan posture is the way of standing. forward in proper sequence, the time increases gradually. After standing for a period of time, the effect of it is to strengthen the supporting power. The second is to relax all parts of the body. The third is to calm down easily without a lot of complicated movements. It's easy to calm down. The fourth is to fill inner chi. These are the advantages of Tai Chi Hunyan posture. While doing the passive course, including hunkering, sitting on flat, and Tai Chi Hunyan posture, all of them are moving quietly. Although you haven't moved Actively, the inner chi moves with intention. 
It is quiet and moving as playing Tai Chi Quan. Playing the standing posture is moving in quiet. In fact, they are supplementing each other. All of them are practicing body and mind together. It is over for the third part of silent health-preserving Qigong. I will introduce the fourth part of silent health-preserving Qigong. It is called Essential 18 Movements of Chen Style Tai Chi Quan. Part 4, Essential 18 Movements. That is a small routine with 18 movements. I will demonstrate it. <laughs> 